How to reach out to people in the DMs without being salesy? Outreach has been proven to work for ages. Companies spend lots of money on outreach in order to sell, especially if you're in the coaching, consultant, service-based type of business, or if you have a high ticket item, or if you're in the business to business, this strategy is gonna help you sell. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the steps on how you can start reaching out to people in the DMs without being salesy. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor, conversion strategist. I help online business owners build a pipeline of quality leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with evergreen marketing strategies. I post weekly videos about simple evergreen online marketing strategies to help you get clients. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications on my latest videos. And make sure to like this video to help the YouTube algorithm. If you're an entrepreneur and you've never done outreach or sales before, reaching out to people may feel achy. I used to feel really uncomfortable even with the thought of reaching out to people and pitching my services. And to be honest, I used to hate salespeople. I would be the first one to hang up on them or delete the email. Or if I see a pitch in the DMs, I would just delete it right away. I didn't even look at it. Until I found my mentor who taught me a different approach, which immediately increased my sales. And it helped me change my mindset. And I realized the reason why I didn't like salespeople and those calls, emails, or DMs were because most of the time they were either irrelevant or started off with a pitch. With my mentor's approach, I was able to test and try different strategies and I came up with different ways that helped me and my clients make five figure months. In marketing and sales, you hear two ways of reaching out to your potential clients. Number one, the inbound, meaning people who come to you to inquire about your services. Number two is the outbound. This is the unsolicited calls, unsolicited emails, and unsolicited DMs with a pitch in your inbox. My mentor's approach was different than these two. It was about creating opportunities, creating opportunities and starting relationships. So what does this mean? This means finding opportunities creating opportunities, finding a mutual interest or a, a specific touch point where you can start the conversation and actually start building a relationship. So there's no pitching involved. So how do we create opportunities to start conversations? And why are we doing this? The main reason why we're doing this is to really build a genuine relationship and understand our target audience. Of course we want to sell, of course we want to convert at some point, but as you know, just unsolicited DM that starts with a pitch doesn't really work. Building relationships is huge when it comes to making sales. You need to first start building like and trust before you can make a sale. And most of the times those DMs in your inbox or your email or the phone calls are feeling icky and yucky and salesy because there's no relationship. You just threw something at me and said, hey, buy this or get the service. And that does not feel good to anyone. Let me know about you more, right? That's why we wanna build relationships. And honestly, not everybody is your ideal client. Not everybody is your target audience. Without those conversations, you won't know that. And again, conversations are the fastest way to conversion. So how do we create opportunities in the DMs? You can do this on multiple different platforms. One of the strategies that I would definitely recommend you to do is to join one of the platforms with a group or community type of feature. This could be like Facebook groups, it could be Discord, it could be Mighty Networks, 
but some type of a community platform or a platform with a community feature. This way you can join those targeted communities or targeted groups by seeing what this group is about, what this uh, pod is about, so that you'll know that there are gonna be some people who are gonna be your ideal client in that. Once you're in these groups and communities, before you start DMing people, make sure to actually engage in the group, introduce yourself, uh, comment some posts, maybe create some value posts, and then look through the group and read the old posts, old comments, see if some people have questions about the problem you're solving, see what people are talking about, and find those mutual points. That's when, when you find some of the members of those groups or communities, who are asking questions about your niche or who are posting or engaging about your niche, this is when you can send a DM. And in the DM, make sure to start with that mutual point or mutual interest, right? How did you find them? You can say something like, hey, name, we're in the same group for XYZ. People are in multiple groups and multiple communities. Make sure to let them know which group you found them or what the group was about that you found them on so that it actually gives them a context. Another way of creating opportunities is hashtags. You can do this again in multiple platforms. You can do this on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, a bunch of different platforms. Make a search with a relevant hashtag to your niche, a hashtag that your audience would use. So once you make a search with that hashtag, you'll be able to see everyone that posted a piece of content by using that hashtag. Look through the content that was posted by using that hashtag and see which one of the creators of that content may be a potential client for you. So when you do this, you're not just gonna look at the post, but you're actually gonna go into the bio of that person who made that post and kind of see what they're about and what their awareness level, what are they talking about? If this is really someone who could benefit from my services. When you feel you have the right person to reach out to, before you send a DM, Go ahead and follow them. Go ahead and like some of their posts. Make a comment on their posts and then send a DM to them so that it shows that you're interested. And the third opportunity to start DMing people and different platforms on social media is to look at the comments of your competitors' posts. Look through pieces of content that your competitors or people uh, in your industry, gurus in your industry post and see who's commenting and what type of comments there are. And then look at those people's bio and find out if this could be a potential client for you. And once you do that, now you have a starting point. You can send a DM and you start your DM by talking about this comment that you saw. If the lead you wanna reach out to is not one of your followers, make sure to first follow them, like a couple of posts and comment on a few posts so that you're actually interacting with them. This is gonna help them see that, okay, this person is actually interested. And also it's gonna help the algorithm once you have this interaction with them, an algorithm is gonna start showing your content to this person more so you can actually nurture those leads once you start that DM conversation. Here are three tips to help you increase your response rate. Number one, do not pitch. Do not start the DM with a pitch and do not ever pitch, not even on the second or third DM, unless it really calls for. Number two, do not send a link. Do not have, especially an external link, meaning a link that leads people 
to outside of that platform, do not do that. DM may go to the spam folder or, or DM request folder, depending on the platform. People don't want to click that link. It's already a pitch whenever you send a link. And the third tip, which is going to help the conversation going is start with an open ending question about them, not about your niche, not about your business, not about what you do, not about the problem you solve, but about them. Once you get a reply, have that conversation going and build that relationship. You gotta ask most of the questions and they gotta do most of the talking. So first you can understand if this is someone that you can help with and understand what are the specific things that they need help with when it comes to the problem you're solving. Trust me, throughout the conversation, if this is the right lead for you, there will be a way for you to offer to get on a call. Remember, this may not happen on the first DM conversation you're having. You may need to follow up later on. You may need to ask a couple of more questions to start that conversation again and energize that person so that you can offer to get on a call. So work on finding those quality leads, creating those opportunities, starting those conversations in the DM, and building that relationship. Trust me, if you do this enough times, this is gonna help you not only make sales, but improve your entire offer and improve your entire sales process. What questions do you have about reaching out to leads in the DMs? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.